All right, well in this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust and shim your valves and why you need to do that. Uh, hopefully this video is informative and helps give you the concepts <clears throat> as to why valves need adjustment. I had just replaced uh, these valves with stainless steel valves because they are more durable, run longer, and uh, run longer before they need to be adjusted or shimmed. So hopefully this video helps you out. All right, so now we're gonna adjust the valves. So we've got uh, the cam installed here and uh, basically valve adjustment on a four stroke is one of the most imperative things to get right. Uh, if, you're, if your four stroke is not running any longer, then there's probably something, more than likely there's something wrong with the valves if it won't start. Uh, what happens is uh, these, these valves that I just installed, these new stainless steel valves, wear and as they wear uh, the basically the gap between the cam and the valves gets less and less to the point where there is no gap and the valves will hang open and anytime there's air in the combustion chamber and the, and the valves are hanging open it's not going to start it's not going to run so uh, valve adjustment is very important. Uh, you can get yourself one of these little handy little tusk uh, feeler gauges. Uh, but basically we go to our book and we look at our service limits and my mechanic always says 711. So 711 is seven thousandths of an inch on the intake. So you want a gap of seven thousandths of an inch on the intake and 11 thousandths of an inch on the exhaust. Now. I actually go in millimeters, right? So this handy little tusk gauge gives me millimeters. And, and what we want is 0.09 to 0.15 millimeters on the intake. So we'll measure the intake first. So we want 0.15 or 0.09 to, to um, so we got 0 0.03, 0 0.07. 0 0.08, 0 0.09. So let's try 0 0.09, see if that gap uh, fits into the intake. And we're on top dead center here. And that gap is not fitting at 0.09. Okay, so we're gonna have to adjust our shims. And we are even tight on our intake. Okay, so that means we've got to adjust those shims so that we have a better gap there. So let's pop these back off again. Obviously, if you're doing this work when the engine's in the bike, <clears throat> you're going to have the gas tank removed and uh, you'll be doing this through the top of the engine uh, down through the frame. But here I have everything disassembled, so uh, I'm doing it on the bench. It's a little more convenient to pull the head off, <clears throat> but a lot more work to do that. So because I switched out the stainless steel valves, we have a different gap than we had with the titanium valves. I'm gonna to have to reduce my shim size here by quite a bit. Okay, so if 0.09 was not going in, then it's likely that we're gonna to have to reduce our shim size by quite a bit. The exhaust, we need to be 0.25 to 0.31 millimeters. And we couldn't even fit a 0.09 in there, so 
we're gonna have. So again, what was our shim distance here? 1.58 on the intake. We had 2.58 on the exhaust. So I would say that on the intake, we're fairly close to the 0.09. We're probably going to want to decrease it by a half. So we get our shim kit here. So we are 1.58 or 1.6 on the intake and 2.6 on the exhaust. We're going to need to go down to 2.55 on the exhaust. Yeah, we're 2.6 on the exhaust. Let's drop it down to 2.5 on the exhaust and see how that works. We're going to put a 2.5 shim on the exhaust, and then we're going to need to go with a 1.5. This is 1.6. Let's go to a 1.5 and a 1.2 and see what happens here. So we have a 1.2 on this left hand side and a 1.5 shim on the right hand side. We're just going to put this cam assembly back on. Pop it back into place, snug our bolts back down, don't want to put any Loctite on yet. Run it really easy. down tight enough that we can get a read on the shims here. Okay, so we went from a 2.6 to a 2.5 in the front, and we'll see what that does to our adjustment. On the intake side, we want to be 0.09 to 0.15 millimeters, so we're reading in millimeters, 0.09 we're going to try a 0.09 and see where we're at on the intake. We need to be 0.09 on the intake. And 
we'll try the exhaust. We still can't even get a 0 0.09. Okay, now we can get a 0 0.09 into this one intake, and that's, remember, we put the one on the left-hand side at a 1.2, the 1.5, we can't even get close. So on the left-hand side of the intake, we can get a 0 0.09 in there, and we just, we, we don't want to be over point point. 1, 5. So let's see if we can get a 0.15 in there. Yeah, it's barely. It's very tight. So we need to, to be uh, 1.2 on the front. And we probably should drop to a 2.4. On the exhaust. Now we have a 2.1 for the exhaust. Let's let's try that. We're nowhere close on the exhaust. Take that off, put it there. Okay, so our 1.5, it's too big. We're gonna need a 1.2. Let's go with a 1.2 here. And we're going to go with, instead of a, let's remeasure this. So we're going with a 2.1 on the exhaust and a 1.2 on the intake shim size shim How freely does that cam move? It's pretty free now. So we have a, a 2.1. We went from a 2.6 to a 2.5 to a 2.1 in the exhaust because we couldn't even come close to putting a 0.09 uh, in the exhaust. In the exhaust, we need 0 0.2, 0 0.25 to 0.31. So let's try a 0.25. Okay, that. That fits, it's snug. So now we're doing the exhaust. But let's go back to the intake, what we were working on. And we want a 0 0.09 millimeter. And we should be pretty close with a 1.2. Okay, so 0 0.09 goes in there now with a 1.2 shim on the intake. We're going to try a 0.15, which is the upper limit, pretty tight, barely fits, barely fits. So that's where we want to be on the intake. Now we're going to try the exhaust. On the exhaust, the book says 0.25 to 0.35. 
three one. So the lower limit is 0.25. So let's see if we've got that on the exhaust. Now we've changed it out to a 2.1 shim. So 2.25 fits. Now let's go to the upper limit, which is 0.31. I don't have a 0 0.31, just a 0 0.30 and a 0 0.33. So we're going to go to a 0 0.30. Won't fit. Barely fit. Very snug. Barely fits on the 2.1. So we're going to run the 2.1 and I uh, and uh, the 2.1 millimeter shim on the front, and we're going to run a 1.2. Uh, so 2.1 millimeter shim on the exhaust and a 1.2 millimeter shim on the intake. And that's what we're going to go with. That gets us within spec on our gaps. Again, we're going to check these gaps again. All right, so that is how you shim and adjust your valve. So again, the specs are 0.09 to 0.1. Five, uh, on the intake and 0.25 to 0.31 millimeters on the exhaust and you just adjust your shims accordingly. We used 1.2 uh, millimeter shims in the uh, intake and 2.1 millimeter shims in the exhaust. Uh, measured those with a micrometer and get yourself a shim kit and um, that's how you adjust your valves. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can see the bike running here. Um, started it up and runs great. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, PM me or reach out to me or, or leave a comment below. Hope that helps.